Okay, another match that I thought was not as good as it should have been. And I think that there's basically one main reason for that. And that's this random stipulation that they threw in at the last second of if CM Punk gets disqualified, he loses the title. I didn't like that idea at all. That was ridiculous. I it was thought dumb. That, I thought that that should have been something that maybe would have happened at the next pay-per-view, or when the next pay-per-view is Extreme Rules, so they can't do that. There are no DQ matches and stuff. But still, it was a stupid stipulation, and I am not understanding this feud at all. From the very beginning, this Jericho thing has just been a complete fuck-up. I don't understand it. They they run these goddamn promos, and the promos are all the same, and they're cryptic, but they're only cryptic in the sense that they keep repeating themselves and not telling you shit, and they ended up being completely pointless. Yeah, because it never explained itself when he actually made his debut. No, it, it, they didn't do that. And then, of course, everybody kind of assumes he's going to win the Royal Rumble, which... I'll commend them. I didn't see it coming that Sheamus would win over Jericho, but just Fuck just because you do a surprise a doesn't mean that just because you do a surprise doesn't mean it's necessarily good. And it didn't help Jericho at all because now Jericho shows up and his whole first off everybody knew it was Jericho. So that killed that. And then he shows up and he does the whole thing which is supposed to be a troll thing, but you know what? I I don't believe that 100%. The way that they backtrack and the way that Jericho always says that things were planned and it, you know, he's got a, an ego about that kind of stuff instead of just admitting that like things don't go as well as they did. Uh, I just think that this has all been approached the wrong way and that includes this match. I didn't really, uh, I didn't think that it was going to be fantastic in the sense that. It would be one of those matches like Triple uh, HBK against Undertaker that we would talk about forever. But I thought at the very least it would be like one of these match of the year kind of candidates. And I don't know. Decent, not good as, as good as it should have been. Felt sluggish yeah. to me. Yeah. Another sluggish match. Mm. Yeah, again, it had a very slow build. It was literally one of those matches where... It was a good match, but it wasn't as good as it should have been. That's my, that, you know, my whole issue with it. Yep. They um, allowed these guys to sort of go out and do their thing, but it sort of slow built itself up, and then eventually we had some form of uh, a match happening between Punk and Jericho, and then eventually it started picking up the pace a little bit. Yeah, the ending sequence I thought was pretty great. By the time that the match, you know, like probably the last five minutes was really good. But as you guys were saying, it took a really long time to get going. You know, with the, whole, with the whole plane up, though, you get yourself disqualified and then not even use it for the rest of the match. That felt kind of off. Like, half yeah. the match it was building towards... Jericho going punk into getting disqualified and then the rest of it's just like, oh, who's the better wrestler? It's like a jump stories mid-match. And I think that kind of took away from it a lot, actually. Because it was kind of pointless. But I, I still thought it was pretty good for what it was. Again, I think it was just one of those things where because they added the extra stipulation to it, it threw the whole cohesion of that match off. Mm-hmm. You know, it didn't give the match exactly the the time it deserved, um, and the booking it deserved. You know, it did get a like half an hour, but again, looking at the length of the pay per view, how the hell can you give this match half an hour, and then dedicate another half an hour of the pay per view to fucking commercials? It just boggles the mind. Because if you want to do the whole thing where if you only want to have eight matches because you want to make sure each match has the time for it, remove the commercials and make it a 40-minute match. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, if you're going to do a slow build... It would have been a 40-minute match if it would have been that slow the entire time. (laughs) Yeah, if it was going to be a slow build, you might as well have just allowed it to have 40 minutes to give it that proper build it needed. Mm-hmm. 
instead of giving it a slow build and then as soon as any sort of uh, pace starts quickening up, the match is over. One highlight that I want to point out, though, my favorite part of the whole match was the little spot where they go for the Hurricanrana. Jericho catches Punk and jumps down and is able to get him in the walls of Jericho after that. That was really well done, especially considering how potentially dangerous that could be because his head was so close to the mat. So I commend them greatly for pulling that off. Yeah, it was a brilliant spot. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, awesome. One of the highlights of the pay-per-view, actually, if you really think about it. Yeah, I think I have that down as one of my high uh, marks on the pay-per-view. What do you think, Dace? What was the crowd doing now? They were into it. I mean, this is clearly one of the matches they were looking forward to, but I think with the slowness of it, they kind of faded away. And it, it really... It sucks because that this was the match I was looking forward to, and I was not into. It. I just kept turning uh, to Kirby and going, "Man, this this is just really slow. It's it's not hooking me." And I did laugh when Jericho was coaxing him in with the whole like "hit me in the head, hit me in the head," and it's like uh, it's kind of going back to the old type of Jericho that I miss. But it could it could have been better. Hmm. So everyone's in agreement about that too. It's good. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate that we have to, but I mean, at the very least, we all have sensible minds for it. Uh, part 10, we're going to go to the Rock and Cena stuff, but before we do that, I'm just going to tack this on to the end of this, and that was the Brodus Clay uh, segment right beforehand. The For those who didn't say it, might have been bathroom break or something like that. Brodus Clay comes out, and I was excited for it. I thought, hey, we, we're going to get another minute squash match kind of thing, but at least he'll be able to dance. And then they interrupt it, and it's this whole, I'm going to call my mama, and Mama Clay comes out, and it's this woman in old woman makeup uh, with a fake ass. Uh, I called my mom. <laughs> she was pissed she's like I was sleeping Chris I was like but Brodus told me to and she's like was, is this some kind of April Fool's joke I was like no nah, I'll call you later bye <laughs> at least he listened <laughs> but uh I mean it was kind of funny but this is one of those things where clearly they were really into the idea of that this would be hilarious so they just ignored everything and thought that that would be funny you know Vince yeah. had to be laughing his ass off, and this was one of, at very least, two segments that were unnecessary, and it had to have been thrown there just from Vince. I was kind yeah. of a bit Could... racist. Well, no, no, Mama, Mama <laughs> Clay of? dancers get more time than the world title match. Priorities, <laughs> priorities, people. Well, how many uh, segments did we need this year of different musicians and singers and dancers and all that? Oh, God. So they needed to add another one in there, but uh, so I just wanted to kind of tack that on there. But you might uh, just call it Entertainia. <laughs> WWE is just wrestling. eventually be calling themselves a. Uh, but this went from a high spot to a what the fuck moment. Uh, next part, we're going to talk about The Rock and Cena, and then after that, we're going to round this all out with a little debut, re-debut, all that kind of stuff with Raw and SmackDown, but check out Rock and Cena. <laughs> <laughs> 